All right, I'm here with Jared Anger. We're messing uh, our Gen Con 2020, uh, 2023 champion for Sorcery Contested Realm. Um, congratulations on your win. Well, thank you very much. So uh, tell us a little about the deck you were running and what you were thinking uh, going into this uh, final round. So uh, I was running Death Speaker with Fire Air, and what I was thinking was, I well, I wanted to play something I was really familiar with, and I had been playing a lot of Death Speaker. I really like the recursion mechanic. You get a lot of efficiency out of playing cards twice and getting their Genesis abilities. So my choice was uh, between what elements to put in the Death Speaker. I had usually been running Air, Earth, and Fire, and Fire was more of a splash, but I knew we would see a lot of, or at least some, Avatar of Earth. And if you play your Earth Sights out and she comes across the table, you're now boosting her to a very high power. So that accelerates the game uh, and makes her comfortable being on your side of the table. And I really didn't want to do that because I, I really dislike playing against that because it, it not only puts a lot of pressure on the Death Speaker right away, it also, um, it also means my thunderstorms now have to come out on my side of the table, which neutralizes them. And those were one of my, the keys to my win. So I wanted to make it uh, not, not viable. So that's, that's why I chose just air fire. What was it, so coming in on paper, if you looked at the two decks, yeah. uh, how did you feel knowing going to the final matchup? Like this is what you're gonna be playing against. I, knew, I was glad I hadn't really played against it before through the rest of the tournament because I knew it's just, it's, a, it's like a, I don't know, 45-55 in his favor, in my opinion. Uh, so I was glad it just came to the final round. But the other reason I played Air Fire is because my damage output is very fast. It's not a slow death speaker. When you go Earth, it's much more passive and like controlly. Uh, mine was very aggressive. Like I took the thunderstorms. If I can get one out early, I can do up to nine damage, which is half your life total right out of the gate. I have major explosion, which is like my finisher, and board clear. Okay. Um, and I also have uh, infiltrate, which is like a game winning spell, and did, in my opinion, win me the last game. So that immediate pressure goes on his side of the table. Now it's a race. And when he plays his first beater, if I have an infiltrate, that becomes my card, mm -hmm. which is tremendous mm -hmm. and delays him further. He had a, a bit of a slow start, so I started to get more comfortable once I saw that, and then I knew it would at least be a game. If er Avatar of Earth goes fast and he gets Pudge Butcher out early or right. a couple of de a phalanx of Pudge Butcher, that's a lot and a lot for me to handle. I don't really have enough removal to deal with all those threats. An infiltrate can do it because it also gives me an asset to remove his stuff with, but it becomes much more fraught. For people that are watching this, we're, you know, the meta is still developing, right? We're yeah. in, very young in Sorcery's age yeah. here. Uh, if people are just getting to the game and they want to play like a champion, um, they look at your deck, they can just take all the cards, yeah. but then what do they need to be doing to actually pilot this to find success? What are some key things that a new player should keep in mind when running what you run to be able to play like you? So. So I took advantage of some, some aspects that are unique to Alpha, which is that Thunderstorm in its current version is a little overpowered. So uh, I, I'm not sure if it's as viable a deck moving forward. Uh, I think the Death Speaker idea, though, is, is the same. It's you want to play, um, play minions that you can get utility out of no matter what. So Violimp is always good because Violimp is, it's a small little beater, it deals two damage, it can trade really well, it's very efficient to bring out. Through Summoning Sphere, you're basically getting a direct damage card, you're getting an early assaulter, like in one of my other games, I played, I had a Summoning Sphere, I had a Violimp early, I just played it across the table, now it's his problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think the idea is value, right? Play cards that allow you to prolong the game so that your recursion can be maximized so you can set up for the end game. Now, uh, going forward, what are, we, what are we calling this deck? What are uh, people going to be talking about this? Got a, got a fancy name? Um, Imstorm. Imstorm, all right, I love it, all right. Well, congratulations. You can check out the gameplay footage of this actual game. Uh, and once again, congratulations to our 2023 champion. Thank you so much. I
I appreciate it. I love sorcery. It's an amazing game. I hope more people discover this game. Um, I wasn't sure if I drank the Kool-Aid and uh, couldn't see, you know, couldn't see what other people would feel about the game. But having seen it this weekend, having, having seen people discover the game for the first time, have those experiences, those discoveries on the table, see their eyes light up, this game has a lot to offer for a lot of different kinds of gamers, and I, I think it's got a bright future. Are we going to see you next year to defend your title? Uh, possibly. I don't know. The year is a long time, but um, and I'm still buzzing off of this one, so uh, we'll see. Sounds good. Well, once again, congratulations, and until next time. Thank you.